What's up guys, it's Connor here, and I'm just bringing you a little bit of nuke action going down in Modern Warfare 2. This is actually my first game back on the weekend after about probably a month's break from Modern Warfare 2. Pulled out the nuke, and then they just start shooting everything down. So, we beat this team pretty badly, but that is not the goal today. I know you guys are like, what the heck, Connor, two weeks in a row and no it is written? Well, I got a new thing for you. I've been, um... Kind of running out of ideas, I guess, or things to talk about for It Is Written. I have, a, I have a few more I know I could talk about, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this new series, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. It'll just take the place of It Is Written until it runs out, and then I'll have, I should hopefully have enough of the, um, like, subjects and objects or whatever, things to talk about, I guess, for It Is Written, so that I'll be able to get back into it and always have plenty of, uh, um, subjects. I keep trying to call them objects subjects to talk about so what we're going to be talking about today or in this new series that'll come up every other week is we're going to be talking about the creation theory versus evolution theory now let's see i most of you guys obviously know i'm a christian so the Chris creation theory is what i'm i most believe in now i now evolution is real do not get me wrong evolution means change over time and that is real but the theory of how people came from apes or and like the birds came from dinosaurs and whatever that theory's about. That I do not agree with at all. But what that's the cool thing about this. What we're going to do is there's two ways I could do this. And I could do both ways or just one or the other. And the first one is I could come at it from an unbiased point of view, which would be kind of difficult because I already have my own opinions. But I could come at it and compare do, two different um, like facts or theories from each from the one from the creationism and one from the evolution and then I'll look at the pros the cons of, of both of those and we'll see like which one makes more sense or which one's more realistic but that one I don't like as much but the one I am thinking about doing is down below you guys can in the comment section you can put a question about like for say for evolution you could put a question down you'd be like ow I keep <laughs> keep kneeing something stabbing me in the knee alright <laughs> anywho you could put in you could put down in the comments below like um how do we know that um people evolved from apes and what I or monkeys and what I do is I'd go research it look up all the facts I have about it and then I would put those together and I put like the stuff that makes sense or seems plausible and then the stuff that doesn't seem like it like that's so far fetched that there's no possible way that could be happening so what I could do is say I could look up the thing where it's like where it's like well we have a lot of the same body functions the same bone structure we do a lot of the same things and that could be like a plausible idea and then I could do something along the lines like well why aren't they still evolving now or that could be a whole nother question why aren't people why aren't apes still evolving into people and that could be another evolution question and what I'll do is I'll research them up I'll look it up I'll find all the facts I can and then I will um, put all the things that are plausible or that may Make sense all this stuff that oh uh, this couldn't happen because this isn't real or whatever and then I could put those together and then in the end we'll put well yes it is it is possible that we evolve from monkeys or no it's not possible at all that we evolve from monkeys and we can do it from the same um, point of view from the creation thing we you could do a question such as like obviously there's a question like well how do you know there's a god that's a pretty deep question that could take a couple commentaries to go over but there's questions like that there's like how did the earth form if you're going with gods like if you believe in creationism how did the earth get to be here or if you believe in creationism how do we get all these plants and animals and these different varieties or if we believe in creationism why aren't people still getting born from the dust of the ground like it says in um, Genesis which is how like Adam God made Adam put him in the garden and then Adam needed a wife so he um, when Adam went to sleep one day, God took a rib out of him, and he made Eve out of it. Out of the dust and out of his rib, made Eve. And that's how the people came about. So there's different questions. Any question you guys could think about, put. So just down in the comments, just be about, this is about evolution, this is about creationism, and then ask me the question. Fire away. I'll try to find all the evidence for it, and I'll be trying to figure out which theory makes more sense. This is going to be completely up for you to decide. I'll put out... I'll put out all the facts, all the info, and then I'll let you guys decide what you think. I'll let you be like, oh yeah, this makes sense, or oh no, it doesn't. So I will try not to lead you in any direction, let you make the decision for yourself, but it just seems, it seems like it'll be a lot of fun. It's something that's really grabbed my interest, um, like lately, of recently, and I've just been looking into it, and like, 
I mean, evolution, there's, I mean, here's an example. Now, there's a thing called a, like, a vestigial structure, or it's a structure that isn't actually used anymore, and dolphins and whales have a pelvis and a femur bone, which are not used anymore. They don't have any function, but they might have evolved. This is the evolution theory. They might have evolved from, like, some sort of land animal that looks kind of like a wolf. I don't really remember a scientific name for it, and this wolf... He needed his femur and he needed his pelvis for walking, but now he got into the water and he evolved into the whales now or whatever, and so they don't need those anymore. So that could be, that's an example of a question, like, if evolution, if you don't think evolution is real, then how come the whale has the pelvis and the femur bone? So just use your imagination, guys. Ask me any questions you want to know about either one. I'll do all the research. I'll try to find it up, and I'll leave it up for you guys. So I'm really excited about this series. Hope you guys enjoy it. It'll be a lot of fun. We can get into some sweet arguments on here. All, all, all out of love, though, guys. We're one big family here, but we can get into some sweet arguments. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll see you guys later. Adios.